How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. And we're going to continue right where we left off in the last video where we were doing all crossover skins, legends, 1v1. So in the last video we did Shovel Knight, we did Black Knight, King Knight, Spectre Knight, Plague Knight, and Enchantress. So... In this video, we're going to do Globox all the way through Princess Bubblegum. And because I know that this would not be a complete crossover video unless we include Rano Wuxiang. Because actually, I think Rano was technically the first crossover skin. Because he's from Rivals of Aether, which is a similar game to Brahalla. Except that it's not free to play for some reason. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start it out with Rano, just to get him out of the way, otherwise I might forget, because for some stupid reason, even though he's a crossover skin, they did not give him his own little spot down there if you separate the crossover skins. They didn't give him his own avatar. Like, I don't know why. They should have. Rano getting shafted here, BMG. Come on, BMG. Do your job. Ridori. Playing a default Mordex. This is my first game of the day, ladies. And gentlemen. No! Nice ground pound Rhinosa Redori. Psych! No! Oh man, I guess he was dead anyways. Alright, we evened it back up, baby. Evened it up. He got a nice kill there, but... Oh man, he could have neutral aired and grabbed me, I think. I'm pretty sure he could have. Worse! Ooh, that side zig hit good. Oh man, I was hoping to sneak that that neutral sig in, but Woo! He got me into that mine, dude. I was not hoping for that, but whatever. We're still up by one. It's looking good. Ooh, he knows how to edge guard with gauntlets, that's fine. I've been hitting him with like 200 spear nares. Like that's his that's his kryptonite. Oh, got him with that down sig. Oh man, he he's coming at me good, guys. Ooh, that's game. GG, bro. I've been trying to get him with that side sig. Took me a while, but I finally got it. So there we have Rano Wuxiang, the first crossover skin. And keeping it going, we go all the way to Globox now, who is... Mm, I feel like default colors is probably his Globox. best, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go default. All right, we're going against Re KRDZ, playing as a pink Jiro. Ooh, I'm pretty decent on my map. This is like, this is like Globox's map, man. I'm in my natural forest element here. Come on, Jiro. You can't, you can't beat me in my natural element.
Oh, close one. Close one, bro. He had some sick scythe strings. Then he killed himself. It's kind of how scythe usually goes. Ooh, he caught me in that neutral sig. I was not trying to go in there, but got me anyways. Good kill, good kill. But we got him to yellow, baby. Cannot beat the dexterity that is Cassidy. GG bro, GG! Glowbox is a win, baby! Like I said, man, Glowbox in the forest, dang near unbeatable. GG bro, GG. Alright, let's keep it moving along right to Barbara. Hmm, let's see. Barbara's like one of my favorites just because Barbara. she's Brynn. And Brynn is one of my favorite legends um, going back even like three years ago. Brynn was literally my profile picture for a couple years, so... Any of my longtime subscribers will remember that. Though I haven't played Brent a whole lot recently, I can still play, baby. All right, going against Dolce Princessa. Black Mordex. Three, two, one, brawl. Yeah, man. Bryn. Feeling it. Feeling it. Hard to escape that down sig if you're close. Sweep! Oh man! We got him with the sweep, baby! Sweep you right off of my stage! Let's let's play around with the spear some more. I would love to hit him with that neutral sig. Oh, beautifully calculated bomb holla, bro. Almost.
There we go. I had an early taunt, which I normally don't like to do, but I thought for sure he was dead. But we got him anyways. GG, dude. GG. As always. All right, moving along to Hellboy. I'm just going to do default Hellboy colors because, in my opinion, those are the best. All right, going against Vinyl. That reminds me of Lionel, like the Lionel from uh, Breath of the Wild that you gotta kill. It's like a crazy centaur beast. All right, let's go, bro. Vinyl. Also reminds me of Vinyl Records. Oh yeah, man. I got a feeling Artemis is gonna be... Ooh, baby! Artemis is gonna be in trouble if uh, she keeps on floating above me. Oh man. Oh nice ground pound, or I mean uh whatever that is. Basically an unarmed heavy, down heavy. Got her with that recovery, baby. I just want to get one kill with that side sig. There it is, baby. Boom. Sorry if that hurt your ears, but dang, that felt good. Cross side sig is literally just insane. All right. Moving it right along. Nimway, Nimway, Nimway. Ooh, I love this map. I hope we get this map. Ooh, going against... Tasty, a diamond wushong. Oof, this is gonna be hard. I better set up for this one. Probably still lose, but Nimue is a good legend at least. I have a chance. Good luck, bro. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. All right, we're good. Oh man. Got him with that side air, dude. He is hard to hit. Sorry I'm not talking a lot, but... Oh man, I thought for sure I'd grab him with that neutral sig. Nice kill though, but man, the orb neutral sig on Nimue, I feel like it's so hard to actually hit.
Ouch. Yeah, baby, I held it forever, dude. Oh my god, this is so intense. Finally got me with that, dude. I'm like trying so hard not to lose here, but he might get me anyways. If I'm not careful, Got him, baby. Oh my goodness, what a close match. GG, dude. GG. The victory was tasty. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Moving on to Daimyo. One of my favorite uh, skins recently because... I don't know, like, I didn't like Mordex that much. And then... Daimyo came out and it just kind of makes Mordex feel like a different legend almost. I don't know why. Kind of like the Adventure Time skins did as well. And um, I liked him so much that I got to Diamond Ranked in 1v1 this season using Mordex. So, or Daimyo rather. So that's pretty cool. Alright, going against. My name is Koss. Dude, that actually strikes fear into my heart. You ever played uh, Dark Souls 2? The Orphan of Koss? Or no, no, Bloodborne. The Orphan of Koss, the last boss fight, man. Oh my goodness, that's a hard boss. Got him there at the gimp. Nice, 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 nice. Oh man, I really do hope you guys are having a good day. If not, play some Brawlhalla. Maybe it'll get better. Unless you lose a lot in rank, then it might not, but you know. At least we have fun, right? Oh man. Got him again, baby. Going for that three stock. Notice I'm using a Hellboy gauntlet, so my left hand is actually different than my right. Dodge. No! Oh man, he got me on my second stock. But that's alright, boys, because we already got him to his final.
No, his spacing is so good. I saw him use that dodge. Oh, how did I miss that? He's got to be toast soon. There it is, baby. GG, dude, GG. Had to finish it off with my scythe. I gotta say, seeing a scythe in the hands of Daimyo still doesn't really look natural to me. It just looks out of place. But, nonetheless, GG, dude, GG. Alright, guys. We only got one more Hellboy skin. It's Gurgach. Let's do, uh, Gurgach, whatever. However you say his name. I still, I feel like I still can't say it. Um, Taros is a good legend. He's, he's kind of limited in, in what he can do. But what he can do, he can do very well. Going against Deliver. I feel like Taros is a little bit slow. He only has three dexterity. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it makes him a little slow, but if you can hit with those attacks, they are very strong. So I just need to focus on having high accuracy hits. And uh, he won't be able to last too long. See what I mean? That was what, like five hits and he was dead. If I can just keep doing that, it's easy, but it's not always easy to get the hits with Taros. Oh my goodness, I'm calculated today. Oh man. One of the best uh, feelings is when you can get the uh, neutral sig like that right on the edge. Except don't die and kill them. Otherwise, you kind of look really bad like I just did there. Feels bad, man. <laughs> neutral sig. Neutral sig. Taros Axe is literally ridiculous. Look at that power! One more stock, baby. I'm surprised he doesn't use the sword neutral sig more often. Like, there's been a few opportunities where he could have done that. There was another one. Oh man, he almost got me with that one. Oh, jeez. Oh no! I'm dead. Final stocks. Finn versus Gorgach. Should I unarm kill him? That would be rude, right? GG, bro. Doing pretty good so far on these crossover skins, I gotta say. And by the way, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Alright guys, before we forget, I actually need to do Rayman because Rayman is also a crossover skin and um, even though for some stupid reason they don't give him the little symbol like these two have, he was in the same uh, bundle or event that those two came from. So let's go ahead and do Rayman. Rayman! Yeah! Alright, we got our match and it's against Scarlet, King Immortal with the green... Sky Captain Scarlet. It's like one of my favorite Scarlet skins. Alright, baby, let's do it, Rayman. I know I give Rayman a lot of uh, a lot of beef because I don't like him that much, but he actually is a good legend, man.
Get that neutral out of here. Got him with the recovery, but this mine is uh, making me nervous. So I'm gonna take that mine out of the equation. There you go. <laughs> There's Rayman, baby. And we are fine. Finally. <laughs> I was going to say Finn. And finally. We are finally to the final crossover skin series. Which is the newest. Which is the Adventure Time skins. So let's go ahead and start it out with my boy Finn. And I like to use these weapons with Finn. Just because they look pretty cool. But ooh, Wyvern Sting looks really good too. Let's do that Finn. one. Let's do it, baby. Ooh, going against Tasty again. This dude is no joke. He is a really good player, so, but thankfully I'm Finn, and Finn is a pretty good legend to be when I'm fighting somebody who's really good. Ooh, this sword looks good. I'm glad I, I picked this one. Nice combos. He was just waiting for me to do that, and then he countered. All right, Tasty, I see that. I see you're not gonna play easy to get. Tried to do a side air there, like that. There we go. Man, he's gonna be tough to beat. Definitely. Good edge guarding, good edge guarding by Tasty. Tasty might get his revenge. Mostly from his amazing blaster gameplay. Which I apparently have no answer for. And I just keep jumping into all of his attacks.
Ho! Killed him with the sword neutralite twice. Final stocks, baby. At least I got him to final stocks. Holy cow. got me with that spear side air. I think that's the same way I killed him, but I don't remember actually who I was when I played against him in the last match, but GG dude, GG, as always. I think he just handed us our first loss of the video, which is pretty dang good considering we were on like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, set. We played eight games and won seven. That's pretty dang good. All right, let's go Jake, and what color shall we do? I think we should do, mm, let's do Skyforge Jake. I don't even remember what his gauntlets are anymore because they took away the thing where you could just switch it to default skin again and it would switch the weapons to default. Really annoying that they did that just because they made them separate. There they are, Jake Fists. But Jake Fists are kind of lame looking to be honest. Let's do Heaven's Touch. And I just gotta keep the Bacon Hammer, man. The Bacon Hammer is so funny. I just have to keep it. Ooh, going against Sandwick. This guy is really, really tough as well. And I'm not the best with core, but we'll see what I can do, baby. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh man, my bacon is like black. You messed up coming down there, baby. When I got gauntlets, you do not want to come down. Oh, he finally got me with that side air, dude. Hammer is so hard to avoid death for very long. Oh, pick you up and smack you down, baby. I put some bacon on that sandwich. Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it now, baby. Oh, got me with the hammer sniper. I would have made it back. Nice throw, nice throw.
GG dude, GG! And guys, we have made it to the final crossover skin. If you've made it this far in the episode, you rock! That's all I gotta say. Princess Bubblegum! Bubble Probably my favorite crossover skin of all time so far is Princess Bubblegum. I like playing Fate more, but Princess Bubblegum is just so cool. The rainbow side sig, rainbow rainicorn, the uh, the bubble blasters with the electricity inside. I mean, the enchantress is cool and all, but she does not have animated weapons at all. How am I missing some of these SIGs, man? Oh, baby! Get stuff with that ground pound! Oh man. Oh man, I just barely caught him with that downlight. Blasters are so strong right now. I feel like blasters are honestly one of the best weapons in the game. Ooh, nice, nice down stick. That killed me. Gotta give uh, Trolling Man credit though. Kabuto Orion is a pretty cool skin. I thought he was going to do something else there, but... Oh, what a side sig! Oh, what a finish to the video! Oh, man, he went right into that. GG, dude, GG. Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this two-part video series where I played every single crossover skin. This is going to be a long episode. But I hope you're okay with that. As always, guys, this is Lucia Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.